after the battle. At the end of the war, the families were given the option of bringing their remains home to America. For burial with honor and dignity on American soil, these are the more than 10,000 families who were elected to bring their sons home. Now, in 1864, when the cemetery was established, it was segregated by rank, religion, race, and profession. It stayed that way until 1948. The President Truman desegregated all the services and the cemeteries. Today, everything is fully integrated in all categories. Now, a little history about the cemetery. It was part of a much bigger plantation around 11, around 1800. 1100 acres inherited by the grandson of George Washington, namely George Washington Park Custis. Custis built a house above the eternal flank, called the Arlington Lee House today. perpetuating their everlasting life. But for his actions, folks, that would have been a much greater catastrophe at the Pentagon. Now, the ceremony you want to see starts in about, I was going to say 10 minutes, I'm close, nine. After the ceremony, come look at some other things around here.
Kennedy was the 35th president of the United States. He was born in Brookline, Massachusetts and graduated from Harvard University. He was the youngest elected president at the age of 43. He served as a lieutenant on a PT-109 that was sunk by a Japanese destroyer during World War II. Although he sustained injuries, he managed to save most of his crew members and received a Purple Heart. He was assassinated on November 22, 1963 in Dallas, Texas.